everybody. Welcome to the first recap of Survivor Redemption Island. Oh my god, what a great episode. It starts out with a military chopper. They land on the beach. All the survivors get out. But wait, there's two more. Oh my god, Jeff, the helicopter is controlling me. I can't believe it. Another chopper pulls up and out pops Boston Rob and evil Russell Hans. All right, so Rob ends up on the Ometepe tribe and Russell ends up on the Zapatera tribe. Uh, the tribes were already pre-selected, um, but there's a twist this season. When you're voted out, you don't necessarily go home. You go and live alone on Redemption Island and then the next person that goes to Redemption Island, it's a duel, kids, and they gotta fight it out Thunderdome style. Two people enter, one person leaves. And then at some point in the game in the future, the last person on Redemption Island gets to rejoin the game. All right, so at Zapatera, that's Russell's tribe, um, he wants to lead, he gives a little speech. Immediately, everybody gets busy working hard on the shelter. Uh, Russell and Stephanie, uh, they strike up an alliance right away because she's got a little evil side to her. And the men notice this. They know Russell likes to work the women, probably because... The men are, you know, <laughs> they don't want to go for it. Russell is evil with the women. So the men want Russell gone, uh, if they don't win immunity, that is. So at Ometepe, uh, Rob, everyone loves Rob. He is such a blessing to the tribe. I mean, he's not as evil as Russell. I'm, you know, I'm sure he knows how to play the game. It is his fourth time. But Philip, hello, he takes the slot as the most annoying know-it-all ever. He has to tell everybody he's a federal agent and, you know, he struts his peacock feathers around and Christina, she's a little sneaky. She's looking for the hidden immunity idol already and Russ and not Russell and Rob already realizes it. So Philip and Christina, they kind of strike up a little bit of an alliance and they pull in Francesca as well. And that alliance is unfortunately against Boston Rob. Uh, Christina tirelessly searches for the idol, and yeah, you guessed it, she finds it. So there ends up being a little bit of tension in that alliance already in between uh, Philip and Francesca. All right, well, it's time for the immunity challenge, and the winner not only gets immunity, but Flint. So it's one of those three-parters. You gotta push all the blocks to make steps. Then you gotta chop some ropes to reveal more steps. Then you have to put together a three-dimensional puzzle. All right, so Zapatera has an early lead and it turned into a big lead. I mean, Ometepe was like done. They were just so tired at the end. But they actually caught up and they were neck and neck pretty much when it was puzzle time. I was really hoping that they were going to pull it out because everybody knows that Boston Rob is a whiz at these types of puzzles, but it just wasn't enough. It was too little too late and Zapatero wins immunity. All right, everybody who is tired of seeing underwear, raise your hand. <laughs> there is so much lousy underwear this season. Even the sexy underwear looks disgusting already. Can you just give them some little uniforms or something? I'm so tired of seeing people walk around in their underwear, especially Philip. I mean, I'm waiting for one nut to come out because it is so ill-fitting around the legs. All right. No, I really don't want to see that. All right, Ometepe. Christina tells Francesca about the idol and how she wants to use it to get rid of Boston Rob. Uh, Rob's instincts are correct. He thinks that Christina is a sneaky little bee and that uh, yeah, it's, it's dangerous, and he has a feeling that something is up and that he needs to get rid of her, so he takes his alliance, which is basically everyone else, and tells them, we need to split the vote, kids. So, how many people absolutely love the monkey? Whoever edited this, um, this Survivor episode, you need to do more, and I want to see more monkey. More monkey. He was adorable. Maybe you can take Philip's place because Philip is really getting on my last nerve. And Christina tells Philip about the idol and she's like, maybe I shouldn't have done that because he seems like a loose cannon. Oh yes, he is Philip Shepard's special agent. I think he's more of like a pet detective or something. 
He's horrible. All right, so it's time for Tribal Council and Jeff Probst to do what he does best, which is Probsting. Thank you, Maddie, for coining that phrase last uh, season. Uh, yeah, we built a good shelter, Jeff. Uh, is Philip the leader? Eh, eh, no. <laughs> he might think he is, but not really. Uh, they want to keep the tribe strong, so they're going to have to vote off somebody who's weak. And Francesca thinks it's probably going to be a woman. So, Philip... Uh, I think he snaps, and he pretty much says that Francesca and Christina told me to vote off Boston Rob. Okay, he just turned Tribal Council up on its head. Ah, uh, I'm a special agent. <laughs> doesn't Is there anyone in the world left who doesn't know that you're a special agent? And I'm voting for Fuenquesca. What is wrong with him? He has an aversion to saying Francesca. He kept saying Francesca, and then he's like, my mouth is dry and I'm getting treated for it. <laughs> By who? The monkey? All right, and then, if that wasn't bad enough, he spills the beans that Christina has the idol. Oh my God, this was crazy. This was probably one of the craziest ones I've ever seen. Except with the exception of the um, tribal council where Parvati played the two uh, immunity idols, that was even crazier. But this is pretty pretty much up there in the top ten. So Rob uh, asked her for the idol, which she pulls out, and she refuses to give it to him. Ah, oh, it was crazy. Then it was time to vote, and Christina didn't play the idol. That took some balls right there, not to play the idol after that probe sting. So Francesca was voted out by four votes, but she's not gone yet. She's only going to Redemption Island. And kids, I've got something for you. <laughs> There's Flint waiting for you back at camp for your consolation prize for that reaming. Oh my God, it was crazy. So I have a feeling next week is going to be just as crazy um, from the scenes. There's too much to go into, but craziness ensues. So until next week, much love.